Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out the brand new Smart Comp by Sonable. This is a spectro dynamic compressor that finds the parameters for a well-balanced compression result in just a few seconds, all by itself using artificial intelligence and machine learning, and it ensures unparalleled transparency through frequency selective processing. So you've got your kind of standard compressor at the top with a bunch of really cool features baked into it that give you ultimate control. And then you have a spectral compressor down here at the bottom. This uses over 2000 bands and kind of acts like an intelligent ultra high resolution multiband compressor that dynamically smooths out tonal imbalances. The spectral compressor also only applies compression where it's really needed and therefore ensures constant tonal and dynamic balance at all times and makes things ultra transparent. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything that Smart Comp has to offer and along the way, show you what it can do. All right, so this is Smart Comp here on the screen. Resizable GUI, so I can make it smaller or bigger if I wanted to. Always an extra bonus. And I think the best way to jump into what this thing has to offer is just to go ahead and run it on this guitar. So what I'm going to do is drop a new instance of Smart Comp on this guitar track. And from here, what we need to do is help the AI understand what the audio is going to be before it even begins. If you click right here, you can see that we have a number of music profiles. Standard, drums, kick, snare, bass, guitar, keys, vocals female, vocals male. So I'm on a guitar here. If you're gonna be running Smart Cop on something that isn't listed here, and I'm told there will be more categories added later, just go ahead and run it on standard and you'll find that it still does a great job. So I'm gonna select guitar. I'm gonna go ahead and solo the guitar so we can hear it. And the next thing I wanna do is arm the track or arm the AI learning system and let the guitar play. And you'll see how quick that was. What's going to happen is it's just going to fill up or highlight this menu item right here. And when that's done, this will be highlighted. And then we have essentially a preset compressor ready to go. And you can not only hear the differences, but you can see the differences here in the Spectrum Analyzer. So here is where compression is happening. The highlighted ish part here is the original signal and then there's the boosted signal behind it or where the compression again is happening so it's a very good visual feedback system but that's not the last thing that smart comp has to offer we have all of our regular compressor controls if we want to come in and make any adjustments And if we ever want to go back to the AI results, we just got to click this button again. It will become highlighted to let us know these are the results that Smart Comp suggested in the beginning. So that's a really great feature as well if you ever get lost in the weeds. There's also a knee control right here as well. You can make it a soft knee or a hard knee. And you can also flip that out right here and have a shaper control for the attack and release times. So we can make a sloped attack and release, which is a really nice feature that not many compressors have. We can use this parameter here or this one down here to adjust those. It's the same thing with the attack. There's also the hold amount as well. And then there's focus, so we can focus on the dynamic range for the compression itself. And we have the detection focus here. If we turn this on, we'll hear the range that we're focusing in on. Another really cool feature is this set of headphones right here, which will actually let you hear the compression results. So you can actually hear the parts of the guitar that are going to be getting compressed when you have that activated. And it's a really nice feature when you're really trying to dial in exactly what you want compressed. So that's the regular standard compressor that Smart Comp has to offer. But there's also a spectral compressor down here that can be turned on or off. And you also have a sensitivity control as well. And what this is, is that over 2000 bands of the frequency range each have 
a compressor on them that automatically shapes any total issues that your compression might be adding to your signal and really smooths it out, makes it more transparent and more musical. A really, really nice feature. And again, you have frequency control right here built in if you want to lop off that ultra low end or that ultra high end as well. couple other really nice features there's an a b if i want to copy that to b and then jump in here and make some changes and i can switch back and forth to a b though it's always nice to have that there's also sidechain ducking capabilities if i turn that on or off and there's the auto gain which gives us relative gain matching so we don't get overtaken by the increase in loudness or perceived loudness when we're making our changes to the compressor there's also undo or redo bypass and reset as well. So let's go ahead and run this one more time on some drums, for example. All right, so that's a very quick look at the key features of the Smart Comp. I highly suggest checking it out if you have any issues with compression or if you're looking for a compressor that does most of the work for you, either for workflow improvement or if you're struggling with compression, as I said, or if you just want a really, really nice compressor on your music. Smart Comp is available now on PluginBoutique.com. I'm going to leave a link to it in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.